Just because the lockdown has been lifted, it does not mean that we have won the fight against COVID-19. The battle continues and it is time that we take a pledge to act as responsible citizens by continuing to follow the three golden rules of wearing masks properly, maintaining two meter distance from others and frequent hand washing. The responsibility now lies with us to slow the spread of COVID-19. By protecting yourself, you protect others. And welcome to E News of IPR Department. I'm Manisha presenting you all the news bulletin. Firstly, the headlines. Summary of COVID 19 Health Bulletin as on 19th October 2020. Chief Minister handed over AGEY vehicles to 14 self help groups of Sikkim. Disbursement of allotments under Garib Awas Yojana at West and South Districts. Now, in details. According to the Health Bulletin, 42 new cases registered yesterday, 30 on RT-PCR, 4 on TrueNAT and 8 on RAT. With this, the total active cases reaches 254. Total test conducted till yesterday is 54,631. Cured and discharged is 3,245. Total 63 death cases has been recorded in the state. Admission in ICU is 6 and cumulative total reaches 3,643. Chief Minister Sri Prem Singh Tamang handed over the 14 AGEY vehicles under the Ajivika Gramin Express Yojana National Ruler Livelihood Mission to the self-help groups of South and West Districts in a program organized by the State Ruler Livelihood Mission, Ruler Development Department at Tussling Secretariat yesterday. Chief Minister, while handing over the AGEY vehicles to the beneficiaries, also interacted with them and urged them to work hard and make optimum use of the benefits given to them by the government. He also congratulated all the 14 SHG members who received the vehicles. He further motivated the members to utilize the vehicles provided them to enhance their income generating capabilities. The objective of the AGEY scheme is to provide an alternative source of livelihood to the members of SHGs by facilitating them to operate public transport services in backward rural areas and to provide safe, affordable and community monitored rural transport services to connect remote villages with key services and amenities. During the program, a total of 14 AGEY vehicles were handed over to the SHGs of West and South Districts of Sikkim. The program also saw the certificates being handed over by the Chief Minister and Minister to the Best Performing Bank and Self-Help Groups. The certificate for the Best Performing Bank was handed over to Cisco, while the Best Performing Self-Help Group was presented to Skystar SHG, Khamdum National Awardee and Jagriti SSG Pakyong State Awardee. Likewise, Sirwani Ward Development Society was presented the best performing WDS and Duga block as the best transaction based digital accounting system. Later, the Chief Minister and Minister along with all officials flagged off the AGEY vehicles to their respective areas. During the ongoing distribution of state government's benefits in Gelsing Barmik constituency, the Minister Kam Area MLA Sri Loknath Sarma handed over allotment order of GCI sheet, house upgradation checks, sanctioned under Garib Awas Yojana to the beneficiaries of Chingtang Gram Panchayat Unit yesterday. It was organized by Rural Development Department, Government of Sikkim at Chingtang Gram Prasasan Kendra. Addressing the gathering, Minister Sarma said that the ruling state government under the leadership of the Honorable Chief Minister Sri Prem Singh Tamang has been working tirelessly to translate his commitment practically in action. Minister Sarma elaborated unique features of newly launched Sikkim Garib Awas Yojana and durable quality of GCI sheet and said that the state government is fully committed to uplift economically poor and deprived households. He urged every beneficiaries to keep monitoring sincerely 
so as to ensure quality raw materials and construction works of Sikkim Garib Awas Yojana. He also urged leftover households to have patients to be benefited in phase-wise manner. He also said that the required irrigation channel will be constructed to promote agriculture farming and advised villagers to adopt cluster cultivation of ginger and turmeric in favorable climate of GPU. After the disbursement of state government benefits at Chingtang Gram Panchayat Unit, a similar kind of program was organized for the beneficiaries of Gelsing Amchum Gram Panchayat Unit under Gelsing Block, Gelsing Barmik Constituency. Minister Sarma handed over allotment order of GCI sheet, house upgradation checks, sanctioned under Gaurib Awas Yojana to the beneficiaries at Amchum Gram Prasasan Kendra. Minister Sarma marked the day as historic for the deprived, unprivileged household to upgrade themselves economically and socially. He also motivated villagers for dairy farming and also underlined upcoming encouraging financial incentives to be launched for producing and selling other crops like cardamom, orange, turmeric, buckwheat and ginger. He also articulated on significance of life-oriented profession and enlightened unemployed youths to work hard to be self-reliant and economically upgraded. The disbursement of allotment orders of Sikkim Garib Awas Yojana House Upgradation of GCI Sheet has been rolled out in South District from 9th Barfung Constituency for four GPUs namely 41 Sangnath, 42 Rayong Tinkitang, 43 Lamatin Tingmu and 48 Borang Famtam yesterday. ADC Rabangla presented a brief account of all the three schemes that is Sikkim Garib Awas Yojana House Upgradation and GCI Sheet to the beneficiaries. Sri Bhutia extended warm regards to all the beneficiaries on behalf of the government and appealed to them to make best use of the schemes for their own development. The allotment orders and checks were distributed to the beneficiaries. This much for today. We'll be back with the more updates. Thank you and keep watching E-News of IPR Department.